Or are we bros? <laughs> are we bros? What do I smell like? Good morning, everybody from Northeast Georgia. I'm up here super early this morning. I've been up here for a while now, just driving around, trying to figure out where I wanna herp today. But I'm probably gonna be just mostly cruising around, maybe checking a couple of tin sites and uh, hoping to see stuff on the road because it is that time of year where road cruising tends to be the most effective way to herp. Oh yeah, I also wanted to point out there are some, what I'm assuming are tree frog eggs floating in this puddle here. Lots of them in there. All right. Here's a little ring neck. It's the first snake this piece has produced. Very nice, I almost didn't see him at first. First snake of the day. Well, it's a start. Nice box turtle to start the morning. We're just gonna do what we usually do and make sure he gets off the road safely. Well, it's starting to warm up and here's another one of these guys. We're moving out of the road real quick. Hopefully we'll see quite a few of these today. This is an area where they're pretty common and uh, I tend to see a lot while I'm cruising up here. So we'll just let him go. A snake at last. I think this is gonna be a black rat, but I'm not positive. Only other thing I think it could be is maybe a racer, but it's not flying away. So sure enough, black rat, very nice. I say this just about every time we find one of these, but uh, it's always nice to see an actual black rat compared to the uh, mostly gray rats we get at home, which almost always have a lot of pattern at this size. And you can see this is still a pretty young rat snake, maybe only three feet long. He's got plenty of growing to do, and he's probably just gonna continue to darken up. I don't know what's going on with this guy's scales. They're super crinkly looking, really odd. Maybe he just had a, a gnarly shed from uh, overwintering or something. Are you gonna bite me? Or are we bros? <laughs> are we bros? What do I smell like? <laughs> that was so weird. He like, look at him. He's trying to figure out what I am. Do I smell like food or something? What's up, dude? I am friend. I promise. <laughs> well, that was cool. It's always interesting when the snakes have some sort of reaction. All right, off he goes. Hopefully we can find a couple of these today. They seem to be one of the more common snakes in this area. I see a lot of king snakes here too, but they're always dead. I've never found a live one, so maybe that'll change today. We're just gonna let him keep crawling and we're gonna get back to it. Hey, look. Another rat snake. God, that's a good looking snake. Super dark. It's just a lovely sight. A nice rat snake on a country road here in North Georgia. But the road is not the place for you because we do not want you to get squished. So um, I'm just gonna pick him up with my two fingers here. He's not warm to the touch despite how warm the road is. This one, whoop. I'm not done with you yet. Come here. I need to get a voucher photo still. These uh, these rat snakes here have definitely been a lot more relaxed than the ones back home. Look at how just iridescent and beautiful that is. Very, very cool. All right, I'm gonna take a quick voucher photo of this guy and then we'll let him crawl off into the, uh, into the forest. All right, I got my voucher. Off you go. I barely moved from the last one. And look at this. That one's giant. Holy cow. <laughs> Third rat of the day. Stuff is moving, finally. I was about to go get lunch. This one is huge and solid black. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Well, I guess there's no shortage of rat snakes around here. Even before today, I had seen a couple of them cruising these same roads. But, uh... 
three of them. The only snakes we've seen dead or alive so far. I'm not complaining. It's a great looking animal. These guys are all like puppy dog tame too. I mean, this snake is, is not super girthy, but it's, oh, all right. He hasn't really offered to bite yet. Okay, he's definitely getting a little disgruntled. So we will uh, move him over there and let him go. But rat snake number three, the second one in the last 10 minutes. All right, big guy, there you go. All right, well, like I said, I was about to go get lunch, but then we found two snakes in the span of five minutes, so. We're gonna cruise a little bit longer and see if anything else pops up. I definitely like the fact that we're seeing these big diurnals crossing the road because that is exactly what we're hoping for today. However, the snake we're targeting is a lot rarer and a lot harder to find than rat snakes. It's almost 80 degrees right now and I just spotted something hopping across the road. Yep, it's exactly what I thought it was gonna be. It's a narrow mouth in the middle of the day. It's 2 p.m. That might be the weirdest thing I've ever day cruised. It's not terribly hot right now, but it is like 77 degrees and the pavement is very hot. And he was just hopping. That is super strange. All right, 5 p.m. update. I went to town and grabbed lunch, found a DOR timber rattlesnake, which is a very interesting find in this particular region. But at least as of now, it looks like we're gonna have pretty good night cruising weather tonight. So I'm gonna plan to stick around and do at least a few passes after dark. So hopefully we can at least get some more numbers and uh, maybe we'll have a good chance at seeing something cool too. So I'll keep you guys posted. Well, it's been dark a minute and that is our first snake after dark. Nothing crazy, the usual. Um, but it has been a minute since we've seen a copperhead on the road. We haven't done too much night cruising lately, so I'll just usher him across and we'll hope that there's gonna be some more stuff out. Well, I just found a very fresh DOR king snake hit since I made my last pass. And here is a juvenile rat snake. So stuff is definitely moving. Lots of rat snakes today and not much else yet. So we're gonna try to keep it moving and hopefully we can get a live king snake or something else that is not a rat snake. All right, well, here's the king snake I found. It is in fact dead. Um, I've just got it positioned so that there's no gore showing. Um, real bummer. The snakes up here are so nice, so consistently, and I seem to always find them right after they've been run over. But this is not a show about dead snakes, so I'm gonna keep it brief, but I figured I would show him to you guys because he is so beautiful. and doesn't really even look like he got a hit, but you're gonna have to trust me when I say the backside of him is not as nice looking as the front. But yeah, I think I'm probably gonna call it a night with that. Today's been a pretty big L. Although it was nice to see a couple of nice, good looking adult black rat snakes, the rest of the day has been not so great. And uh, I've been up here since 8 a.m. and it's now almost 10 p.m. So it's been a very long day and I have a long drive home. So I'm gonna call it here and I will see you guys probably day after tomorrow. I'm gonna have to spend most of the day tomorrow editing, so. Good morning, everyone. It has been a couple of days since we were out last. I had a lot of errands to run this week, had to get my car worked on, but we're back at it today and uh, it's gonna get pretty warm, so I'm not expecting to really kill it with the hiking, but we're gonna start off walking around a little bit and then uh, kind of transition into road cruising as it gets later in the day, so let's get to it. All right, well, there's the first find of the day, a nice little red-bellied snake under 10. These have been fairly common lately. Uh, they tend to get really common under 10 right as we start to transition from spring into summer. But really nice looking snake, good cinnamon stripe on this one. We'll just uh, lower his piece of tin and leave him alone. All right, well, there's a corn snake. I wasn't really expecting anything under here, so I haven't been recording. This guy's deep in shed. Sorry, I've got a granola bar in my mouth. We didn't really eat breakfast today. Well, next snake is another kind of unexpected one. A big garter snake, also deep in shed. This is probably a gravid female. She is really cool looking too. That would be a gorgeous snake with a fresh shed. Hello. I don't want to mess with you. We'll just cover you back up. <laughs> I'm sure she will be full of piss and vinegar if we tried to pick her up right now. That's probably one of the bigger garter snakes I've ever seen. I think it's super healthy looking. We'll just cover it back up. There's an Eastern box turtle that has just finished chowing down on a mushroom. It's kind of neat. I don't see too many of those at this spot, so that's definitely cool. I just found a ring neck on the crawl. Look at that. I saw something move and I pulled back the vegetation and there he is. 
Come here, dude. Look at that. Always weird to see these guys actually out crawling around during the daytime. Look at this. There's a baby deer. All right, Alex just spotted our first snake in habitat for the day. There's a black racer sitting right there. Little bitty guy. But uh, we'll probably see more over the course of the day. Whether or not I'll get them on camera, I can't say. But I'm sure we'll see at least a few zooming across the road this afternoon. So I was walking this dead tree here and I looked down. And right there is the shed of a big adult timber rattlesnake, which is the main thing we're hoping to see today. So it would be a lifer for Alex. And uh, it's pretty close, but not what we're looking for. I knew we were in the right area, so it's not like we really are learning anything groundbreaking from this, but it's cool to see at least. That is a little bit frustrating, but very cool to see. Their sheds are so distinct. There's no mistaking that for anything else other than a big rattlesnake. Finally, we cruise a snake. And it's one that's new for these guys. Beautiful little rough green. <laughs> All right, well, the weather's been a little bit weird today, and it's still kind of weird right now. It's very cool and breezy, but uh, we're going to stick it out and hope that something is crossing the road tonight. But very nice little green snake as a consolation prize if we don't see anything after dark. Hey, we got another snake. Nice juvenile rat snake. a good looking snake definitely a lot of gray influence with this guy it's been a pretty slow day of cruising we had a good morning of 10 flipping and then things just kind of got stagnant until the last couple passes where we got the green snake and now this guy so hopefully things will come to life after dark or maybe even before then we'll see all right what do we have here it's an earth snake look how fat that thing is holy cow that is the biggest earth snake I think I've ever seen. Mother of God, what a unit. That is a slug. Well, that's pretty cool. She's probably gravid, but very heavily spotted. Kind of interesting. Normally they don't have quite that many spots. Oh, here's another fat earth snake. Lots of these on this road, typically, and uh, that has been the case so far tonight. It's definitely a little chilly, but we're going to try to keep moving. Number three. These things are just abundant, and they all appear to be big, gravid females. 